and welcome to Teddy's grand, uh, I mean, the Museum of Among the Sleep. Go on, take a look around. For each world the player goes through, the environment illustrates more and more the jumbling together of memories. And this place is a direct illustration of that mess. Most prominently, it's framed by the memory the child has from trying to hide in closets or any nook it can find. The monster in this place represents the mother when she is angry. It comes out when the kid is making a mess. This is the forested home. It's a crumbling home that's slowly rotting away into the water and trees. The house here is a symbol of the family and home falling apart. The bloated creature inhabiting it is how the kid sees his mother when she's drinking and full of sorrow. The playground. There's something walking around here, but you never see it. The passive threat keeps you on your toes, and at the same time creates the illusion that you might be safe for the rest of the game. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, you're home. The team wanted to start with introducing the character of the mother, as well as the mechanics of the game. Starting with the kid's birthday was a way to both introduce Teddy in the form of a gift and showing how old the kid is. When night falls over the home is when you really start seeing the ways in which the child perceives reality while scared. A large part of the game is based on how children see and interpret what's happening around them. The prologue was added as a free DLC a couple of months after release of the game. It was made in collaboration with some of our fans and made to elaborate a little bit on what went wrong with the parents' relationship. That the mother was not simply evil, but rather that relationships are tough and neither of the parents handled it well. <laughs> 